From Stop Woke to a curriculum transparency law that has prompted some teachers to close their classroom libraries for fear of a felony charge, to banning the new AP African American Studies course, Florida has become a model for restrictions that target minority groups and seek to rewind the clock on the way we teach American history and social studies. And nowhere is Governor DeSantis's campaign to overhaul American education, nowhere is it more pronounced than at a small public liberal arts school in Sarasota called New College. Today, we're announcing a series of proposals uh, to continue to lead in the area of higher education. The first thing that we're going to propose is we want to make sure that everybody that goes through a Florida university uh, has to take certain core course uh, requirements that's really focused on giving them the foundation so that they can think for themselves. And the core curriculum must be grounded in actual history, the actual philosophy that has shaped Western civilization. We don't want students to go through at taxpayer expense and graduate with a degree in zombie studies. Zombie studies and actual history. Now, New College is funded by Florida taxpayers. It was founded in the civil rights era, and it opened its doors to its first class of 100 students in 1964 to provide a hands-on learning experience that wasn't limited by a bureaucratic curriculum. Its founders envisioned a place with complete freedom of inquiry. It was launched to be an institution inclusive of students regardless of their race or religion, their national origin, or their cultural status. Despite that history, or maybe because of that history, Governor DeSantis has targeted New College. The students and the teachers there are calling it a hostile takeover. And to be honest, if you look at what Governor DeSantis has done thus far, they've got a point. To begin with, DeSantis installed loyalists on New College's board of trustees this past January, explaining that the school badly needed an overhaul. It hasn't been successful and the enrollment's down so much uh, because I think people want to see uh, true academics and they want to get rid of some of the uh, political window dressing that seems to accompany all this. They're not true academics. They graduate with degrees in zombie studies. But actually, I went down to New College a few days ago. And wow, did I see something different than the picture the governor has been painting. I talked with some of the students on the campus to find out why they are there and what they are actually learning, and most urgently, how Governor DeSantis is trying to change all of it. Why did you end up, how did you end up here? I was looking at state universities, and I, and I toured UF, I toured FSU, I looked at these schools, and I sat in the classes, there are four or five hundred kids, and the professor doesn't know who the kids are. I toured this school, and the professor had the kids' phone numbers. The, kid, the kids, when they had a question on their homework, the student that gave me a tour told me that when she has a question on her homework, she texts the professor, even if it's on the weekend. That's unheard of at school. Yes. I was planning to try to apply to Oxford University, mm -hmm. but my parents, they said, no, you're not studying abroad. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what's new college? And I searched it up and I was like, oh my God, they imitate the tutorial system of Oxford University. They have those close teacher bonds um, with the students. And I really fell in love from that point. What I really liked about it is it's supportive, like LGBT environment where I, early on in my transition, like I started new college, like six months into that and I was in a very early place and I didn't know who I was, I didn't know who I wanted to be. I was growing into a new persona that I was developing mm -hmm. and um, New College accepts that because a lot of other people are in that same boat and it really gave me a chance to like grow as a person and figure out who I wanted to become. What about, what about you guys over here? What surprised you the most since you've come to New College given your expectations when you enroll? Go for it. New College has a very supportive atmosphere in the sense where students, when they have a drive, if they have a vision and a passion of something that they want to do, they are given the resources and the support to do it. For example, I started a collegiate rowing team. You can't just up and start a collegiate rowing team anywhere. I did it as an ISP, independent study project. I got course credit for it. For the better part of four years, I went out and I saw the world. I traveled all these different countries. And when I came back, there was no question in my mind. I was like, I'm coming back to New College because this is a place that will still offer for the different perspectives, the different cultures, all of the things that we love about traveling and love about the world, we can get right here. When you first heard Governor DeSantis talk about New College in the context of his war on woke, what was your thought? 
I guess this goes back to last year or, or, or maybe year, uh, 18 months ago. He really began with like the Don't Say Gay bill and, and stuff like that. And when I first heard about that, I mean, I knew this wasn't just going to stay through kindergarten through fifth grade. I knew this would spiral upwards. Why did you know that? How did you know that? Because, I mean, just studying, like, things historically and understanding that reactionary movements always start from, like, more feasible goals. Um, and just any person who studies history knows that's how it begins. It begins with very easy, feasible targets, and then it spirals up from there. And it's even happening right now where they pick New College, the easy, feasible target, and then it will spiral up from here to a grander statewide um, and national endeavor. I sort of took it as a presidential announcement. Um, I know that he's, there's been a lot of talk about him running for president. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why he's, chose, he's picking on New College. There's a reason why he's fighting this war on woke. This is who he's made. This is his brand. This is, this is what he does.